Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I want to talk about the drawing hexagons inside Microsoft Word using Visual Basic for applications and we will use it uh, for many times in future tutorials. I wish there was an easy way how to do it but there are some problems we have to solve. So let's start by saying how to draw a hexagon inside Microsoft Word. If I select insert shapes hexagon it's down here it's a six side polygon and just draw it without any key pressed i can draw it in any size in any aspect ratio but that's most likely not what we want we want to draw a hexagon as a regular hexagon that is a hexagon which has all the sides being the same length so i will again select insert shapes hexagon but this time i will press the shift key on my keyboard and this will make sure that the hexagon is in the right proportions at least we will hope that it's in the right proportions so what I will do is I will set the fill to no fill and outline to maybe some bolder one just because I will be drawing a lot of shapes over this one so it's more obvious. And what I can do is I can draw a line from the opposite vertices like this and here and one more here. And what I get are six different triangles or six triangles where each triangle has each side being the same length. That's nice because I can draw also a line going from top to bottom like this. And I'm not very precise, but you will find out that this or those three sides are the same. So here, this is in the middle of the triangle. Again, I will change the color so I can see this line there. It's a blue one. Okay, so what I can do, I can probably try to draw something. So let's say that this line up here is the length of the side so we will call this l this is also the length so the half of the length is obviously half of the length so this side we can call it for example a equals half of the length this side is also the length but uh, just because we will stick with pythagoras theorem we may use the same letters as inside pythagoras theorem so i will call this side being the side c which equals also L and we want to calculate the side B just because the B is half of the height of the actual hexagon. So how do we will calculate the B? We can look at the Pythagoras theorem which says us that B squared equals C squared minus A squared which also can be written as B equals square root of c squared minus a squared and if we use the length of the side of the polygon we can say that b equals square root of the l squared minus l divided by 2 so half of the l squared so if you want to know the height of the hexagon we simply say the height equals 2 times b so what about the width the width is actually much easier than the height just because this is l this down here the side a is half of the l so we can draw it up here so this is half of the l and same on the left side this is also half of the l which means that the width equals two times l and that should be basically enough to calculate the width and the height when we know the l or when we know the width we can at least calculate the height of the hexagon which would be enough to draw it so let's jump to the developers ribbon if you don't see just right click the ribbon select customize the ribbon and make sure that the developer checkbox is being checked then we will open the macros and for this document i will create a new macro which we will call draw hexagon I will create a new macro, make sure that the code fits inside this view. And I will probably start with defining some variables. So I will say dim hex width s double and also hex sorry hex height s double. And I may also create a variable for hex site length s double as well. So I will probably set the side length to some value. So let's set, let's say the side length equals 15. Then we can say the width equals two times the length. And for the actual 
height. We already know that it should be a square root, so square root of some number, and that some number will be the length squared, which is length to the power of 2. So length to the power of 2 minus length to the uh, half of the length to the power of 2. So I'll copy this one and I will say length divided by 2 to the power of 2. So we've somehow calculated some value. Let's see if this makes sense or not. So I will say message box and I will print the height value because this is what we are looking for. So let's see what we get when I play this, when I run this macro. I get some number which is 43, which is the B. I actually want the height, so I have to say height equals this one times 2. So let's run it again, and I get some value 86.6025, whatever. Now, how to quickly find out if this is the right value or not? I can use, for example, this online hexagon calculator. I've already entered the side length of being 50. And I get the side to side, which is the height of the polygon being 86.6025, whatever, which is exactly the number which I'm getting here. So this should be the right value, and we should be able to draw a polygon using those two values, that is the width and the height. And we can get the size in two different ways. We can either calculate it this way, or we can say that when the width of the of the hexagon is 100, the height is 86%. So I can as well just copy this value and say that the height is actually this number times the width. Of course, it has to be percent, so I will divide it by 100. So I will say that this is the width times 0 0.8660. To five. We can get a better resolution or with a bigger number, but that should be enough to get the right value. So let's jump into our recommend. I will delete everything, I don't need it anymore, and I will draw a hexagon. So I will say active document dot shapes dot add shape, and that's probably MSO shape hexagon. I will draw it on the position 100, 100, and I will set the width to be hex width and the height to be hex height. Close bracket, select, and let's see what this does. Okay, so we get the hexagon. It looks like that we are done with this task for today, but there is actually one problem with this hexagon. So if I resize this hexagon, it should fit in the circle. So let's see what the, what it does when I try, try to draw a circle. So I will select shapes circle and I will draw a circle in the same size as the hexagon. If I move it like this and set the fill to no fill, maybe outline to different color and bigger um, height, you will see that those corners are going outside of the circle itself. That's because we have this small yellow dot which sets the hexagon shape something between true rectangle or just a diamond and the default state is around here we actually want this to be around here like this so all the vertices are touching the circle so this is the right hexagon there is a reason why i wasn't using you no know, triangles to trying to simulate that there are six triangles in the hexagon because if i select insert shapes hexagon and draw it with the shift key you will notice that that's one I, once I start drawing triangles like this, okay, this is the first triangle. I will sh change the fill to maybe green. If I rotate it, sorry, if I rotate only the triangle 180 degrees and then I copy paste it, you will see that the angle of this line is different than the angle of the hexagon. So we need to somehow set the hexagon this parameter to be right in the middle you know if you focus on this part you will notice that the yellow dot is more to the left than it is to the right so this part should equal this part it's not so if i draw a line in here this is much shorter than a line on the right side this one we need to make sure that the yellow dot is actually right in between in the middle so the first thing is to find out what's the value of this yellow point 
and then we can get this using Visual Basic for applications. If I say active document that shapes, and I will select the first shape because we only have first one shape. The adjustments is what we are looking for. We only have one adjustment, so I will select first adjustment, and I will again say message box so we can see the value of this adjustment. So if I run this macro, it's 0 0.25, so it's like 25%, uh, which kind of makes sense. But you will notice that once I start moving this around, if I say to the left side and run this macro again, I should get the 0. If I run it to the right side as much as I can, I should get 0 0.5. But what I'm getting instead is a value, sorry, it's a value of uh, 0 0.5. 58001. So let's see if I can somehow use this value to set the right angle for the lines. So 0 0.58001. So I will say that the adjustments equals 0 0.58001 divided by 2. And I will uncomment this first line because I want to draw a new shape and I will maybe say with this shape set the adjustments to be right in the middle and with let's see what this does so if i run this again i get again a hexagon if you don't look closely you may know that you may see uh, you know think that this is the very same one but the difference now is that now all the sides should have the same length and i can quickly try to draw a new line around here and now if i copy paste this line and rotate this line by 120 degrees this should now align in perfectly with this side or any other side if i compare it to the previous one so if i select new hexagon and draw it in almost same size like this you will immediately notice that the shape is a little bit different and that's basically it for today i know it wasn't very interesting but it's kind of needed for future tutorials so we now know how to calculate the height even you know even when we can use a number from the internet but we will still know how to calculate it using the square roots and the power of two functions and we know how to draw a new shape which is true hexagon because for some unknown reason the default shape from board is not the true hexagon not the regular hexagon so that's it for today and thanks for watching hopefully the next tutorial will be much more interesting